Good afternoon to the both of you. Chicago police as well as the Cook County State's attorney say they have made an arrest and now have filed charges against a 19 year old in connection to that robbery and shooting. They also say he's facing several additional felonies because they do believe that he was involved in several other robberies, armed robberies at that in the neighborhood uh, around this same time. Now the superintendent telling me today that it cannot be overstated just how important surveillance video was in this case. Detectives who combed through hours and hours of video surveillance footage, footage and looked at recent crime patterns in the area to identify this offender. We're still working, we're still working to identify and apprehend anyone else involved in this shooting and robbery. Now, the shooting captured on video was on May 6, and it was in the 1300 block of Webster in Lincoln Park. The video shows 23-year-old Dakota Early walking when he is surprised by a man with a gun. After a brief struggle, Early is shot three times. He was taken to Masonic Hospital and is still there, but he is making progress. Police say they arrested 19-year-old Tyshawn Brownlee earlier this week in Oak Park. Police saying this was his first adult arrest. Police say along with the charges related to this shooting and armed robbery. He's also facing separate charges for armed robberies over a two day period. Alderman Brian Hopkins says he may be connected to 30 robberies in the Lincoln Park area. Brownlee himself was shot in the shoulder on May 10th in the overnight hours near the beach. I can't hear. So I don't have the exact timeline. Obviously, I don't have the photo right in front of me on when he was specifically identified. What I can tell you is he was a person of interest within the robbery investigation. And when he was shot, when the midnight detective went out to interview him, and when he came back and the detective division was putting everything together, like, let's go back. Now, Brownlee, however, was not at the hospital. We're told that he left on his own accord. Police say Brownlee did confess to the shooting. He is due in court later this afternoon. We are live at police headquarters. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Thank you, Eric.